I'm Kelsey with White Cottage Boutique and Blue Minerals here with another tutorial in our series on refinishing furniture. Um, this time it's going to be specifically about how to mix blue minerals. Um, I wanted to show you a few things with mixing blue minerals and give you an idea of what it looks like. Also talk a little bit about the different sizes. So I have all five sizes here in front of me. This is the bulk box size. Um, it takes five gallons. You can see that there's like a plastic liner in there to make, stop it from spilling. It's really convenient to get into if you're going to be doing it a lot. Um, there's also the uh, 32 ounce, which is the next size down, which makes two gallons. Uh, the 16 ounce, which makes one gallon. The four ounce, which is our most popular size, it makes one quart. And the sample size, which makes two cups or a pint. Um, we're going to be mixing up a pint of paint today, but I'm actually going to take it out of this big bulk box because this is the one I work out of. Um, you're going to need a tablespoon measuring utensil. I love the metal ones because they're much easier to clean than the plastic ones with the powder, but if you don't have a metal one, it's totally fine to use what you have. Um, a knife or anything with a flat edge where you can you know, get an accurate measurement. Something to mix with. I buy these one quart mixing cups from Home Depot because I usually mix up a pint at a time, which is a half of a quart. Um, and these work perfect to store them as well as to measure out a pint because they have the measuring lines. You can also go, you know, measure a cup or whatever out of these, but they're really nice and they're only about a dollar, um, maybe a dollar twenty-five if you're buying the lid as well. Um, then I have just a regular plastic cup. I use these to mix up the blue minerals because you want to mix the blue minerals with water before you add it to your paint. Um, and then these are nice because you can just throw them away. I've got a cup of just regular tap water and I've got my paint. Uh, today we're going to be mixing up um, blue minerals into uh, Benjamin Moore's Covington Blue, which is one of my favorite colors. It's one of the colors I use a lot. So I buy it in a gallon because it's much, much cheaper um, per pint, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I have just a little can opener. Home Depot gives these away free when you buy their paint along with mixing the stir sticks. I just barely bought this paint, so I'm not going to stir it up. If you have, if it's been sitting for a while, definitely mix it up before you, you do this so your color is more accurate. Um, so you can see how pretty that color is. It's a really pretty blue. I'm just going to pour it in up, up to the pint line. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to get as close as I can. go around and wipe that off just so it doesn't get super messy all over my counter but I'm not gonna do that now I'm just gonna set this to the side so I don't need it anymore so the paint that I use is actually bears premium plus paint um, I like bear paint I don't I just am drawn to it I don't see much of a huge difference between the paint brands that I use I've tried all, all the ones that are readily available around me uh, but I just like this one mostly because it's really convenient to go to Home Depot they're open all the time um, and I just prefer the band brand, the Bear brand over the other brands they have there. Um, so yeah, and this is just their cheapest paint. I think this was $26. I, the sheen really doesn't matter. If you're going for a really um, chalky finished look, then you definitely want to use a flat sheen. But you don't have to. A lot of the times, because I like a little bit of shine, and I'm going to shine it up with my wax anyways, I'll go with like an eggshell or a satin sheen. And it'll make it a little bit um, of a smoother finish when you're painting it on, especially when you're painting by hand. And it will also just be a little bit easier to wax. But the sheen really is just a personal preference type thing. It's not impacted by the, uh, the blue minerals. The blue minerals takes the sheen down just slightly, but not really a noticeable amount. Alright, so to mix it up, so we've got our pint of paint all measured out. What we're going to do is we're going to measure up it's two tablespoons of blue minerals for every tablespoon of water. And then that goes for every cup of paint. So a pint of paint is actually two cups of paint. So we're going to measure enough for two cups. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get out a pile. See this? 
going to scoop out a pile, and then I like to use the flat edge of my knife, of my butter knife, to just even it out so you have a perfect measurement and just dump it in. So because I'm doing two cups, I'm going to need four tablespoons. huge difference if you accidentally do, you know, if you're just eyeballing it, it's not going to make a big difference. But if you want to be exact, that's great too. Then you're going to get, so one tablespoon per cup of water, per one tablespoon per cup of paint of water. So since I'm doing two cups, I'm doing two tablespoons of water. Alright. Mix this up, and I actually use plastic spoons to mix it up. Sorry, I forgot to tell you to get something to mix this up with. You can see I'm spending a good amount of time mixing it because I'm making sure to get out every single lump, squishing them with the back side of the spoon so that they are all mixed in well and you don't get chunks of powder while you're painting. So you just want to make sure it's really well mixed. There you go. And then you're just going to drop it on into your paint. But I'm going to do one extra step because I am going to spray this. If you were painting this on and you like a thicker finish, um, similar to the other brands of chalk paint out there, then you want to just add this in, mix it up, and you're going to get a nice, thick, uh, consistency grade for hand painting with a brush. But if you're spraying, you want to thin it out a little bit so that you don't have problems spraying. And I like to do that at this stage. You can do it after you mix it in, um, but I, I just like to do it at this, at this stage. So... All right, so since we're spraying, we're gonna add another two tablespoons of water to this mixture. And you can thin this out as much as you want. You're using water-based paint, and the Blue Minerals is also water-based, so you can really add as much water as you want to get a consistency that you like. You can thin it out to a wash. You can also let it sit, the paint sit out overnight and get kind of more of a pasty, thick finish if you wanted to do like a dry brushing technique. Um, so you can see that, if you can see that, once you get the two extra tablespoons in there, it is extremely thin and watery, which is great. So you're just going to pour that into your mixture, make sure to scoop it all out. And then I use the sink uh, spoon to just mix it in. It won't change the color of your paint at all. You can use it with black, you can use it with any color you want, which is great. And there you go. And the nice thing about using, the reason I use disposable cups and spoons is because now I can just throw this away. And I've got a pint of paint all ready to go and I can mix up only as much as I need. So with this particular project, I really don't need very much paint. I'm just going to be painting the back of the hutch with this color. So, not having to mix up an entire gallon or buy an entire quart of paint is really nice for me because then I can use the rest of my Blue Minerals project or product to make the other three colors I'm going to use in this tutorial, which are Revere Pewter, which I've already got mixed up and Chelsea Gray. These are three colors I love together and we're going to use. Uh, the Chelsea Gray is going to be uh, underneath as a layered effect underneath the Revere Pewter. So the Revere Pewter is going to be our main color and the, Co the Coventry Blue is going to be on the background or the backdrop of this, of the hutch. So I've got my paints and we're ready to start painting. 